What's going on guys? My name is Sammy and thanks for joining me for another Sammy Hitsky Fishing Adventure. Now, I know I'm usually a huge advocate for Sundays with Sammy, but I thought I'd treat you all to a little cheeky midweeker just to help you get through the week with a bit more fishing action. But don't worry, there's still a Sunday video coming for you. Hot and fresh, 4pm Sunday, so make sure you tune in for that as well. Now, this one is all about a very, very special fish. It's about the mighty sailfish. Now, sailfish is one species I've been wanting to tick off my angling bucket list for a long, long time. They tick all the boxes for a fish. They jump, they fight hard, they look cool, they've got the big sail. What more could you want? They literally are the most, one of the most epic species of fish in the water. And one that pretty well every angler wants to catch at least one of in their angling career. Now, I figured I'd come across one, I'll do a fair bit of marlin fishing, and I figured I'd come across one and get my shot pretty soon. But look, for some reason, they just eluded me like the plague, and it's not like I haven't been in the right spot in the right time. In fact, part of this little story involves one of my mates. Now, one of my good fishing mates, Lucas Nixon, has actually managed to land two sailfish with me in my boat. The first one, we've been fishing out of Cape Morton about four years ago. Uh, I'd caught a black marlin, we'd caught some dolphin fish in Wahoo in between time. Next minute, sail jumps on and uh, this happens. Yeah boy, just got a sailfish on full spread. Yeah. What a little cutie. Now, of course, we were all pretty stoked with that capture, along with the black marlin we caught earlier in the day. It was my first real season targeting marlin, and we were doing really well, and to get a sail for the boat was um, absolutely insane. But there's still that little part of me that goes, geez, it's nice to be on the rod for one of those. I'd love to, love to tick one off the list for myself. Now, lo and behold, two years later, Lucas and I head out on a trip to Cato Reef. Now... We, uh, we were blessed with absolutely insane weather for the first three days. And the first day, it was that calm. It was like a sheet of glass. It was super hot. And we thought the fishing was going to be absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And um, look, by 11 o'clock on the first day, I think we had one small amberjack to our names, which out there is not what you want. You kind of want to be catching doggies and GTs and all sorts of crazy reef fish. Uh, from remote tropical islands and look the fishing was super shut down the weather was perfect and we just couldn't catch a break and that was until we did one drift we were drifting over this shallow section of reef it was 20 meters deep I'm sweeping a stick bait and Lucas is chucking a popper and uh, next minute I hook up on my stick bait I'm like beauty see a big flash of silver it's a big GT now I'm fighting away on this thing and the next minute I can hear Lucas go there's a sail, there's a sail. I'm like, what? I look over and there's this sail with Lucas's popper in his mouth, shaking his head like this. Then I look back to my fish and there's a pack of four sails cruising around where my fish was. So not only did Lucas manage to hook another sail, but this time on a surface lure, I'm pretty sure that GT has come up and swiped my stick bait out from in front of these sailfish. Anyway, this is what happened on that trip. Here he is! Yeah. Woo! Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> this is mayhem. We've got a sailfish in the water, we've got a GT, we've got the deck hose pumping water into him. Lucas is hanging over the side with a sailie. Yeah! Just pulled a sail off of a pack of sails, literally. Now after that one, Lucas is now two sails up in my boat and I'm still yet to even put the hooks in one. I haven't even jumped one off. So I figured surely my time has got to come soon. But lo and behold, the next couple of marlin seasons, very quiet, never even saw a sail. So still yet to tick them off the list. Now, as you would have seen in some of my previous videos, I've recently been out to Swain's Reef. And if there's going to be a place that you're going to get a shot at a sailfish, look, the Swains is probably not a bad place to, t to start. Big tropical reef system. You know they're going to be cruising around. Now, um, I think it was about day four. 
we were fishing for some fishing bait. There had been one sail already sighted. I think someone missed one on a stick bait. It had swiped the lure and then obviously shook it. They, they're pretty hard to hook on the old lures. It does happen as Lucas showed, but yeah, it is pretty difficult. Anyway, Clint and I, we're out drifting some some uh, some reefy rubble about 30 metres deep. We had Bergie and Dicko in the other boat fi filming for Fishing Addiction. I've got myself a nice pink bucktail jig and I've rigged it up with a pilchard. And like I'd done a few other times that day, chasing trout, flicked it out, was letting it sink down. Now, I was very, very lucky that everything played out how it did. I didn't have my camera rolling at that stage, of course, always the way. But... By chance, with Dicko and uh, Bergie fishing so close to us, they had their cameraman there filming for the show, and uh, they were lucky. We were lucky enough to get some really cool footage. And look, it was a very special moment. So, check this out. You would not believe it, I'm hooked up to a sailfish here. It just ate a bucktail jig and a pilchard. This is the first sailfish I'm hooked and I, uh, I'd love to get a look at him, but yeah, this is probably not the gear to do it on. Do I go heavy or hot? He's gone. Oh. No! Did ya? I pulled hooks. Oh. That would have been pretty epic. Awesome, I've been doing it all morning. <laughs> the lead is not that bad. I reckon I may have had a shot if he gave up pretty soon. Did you get it, Lofty? Yeah, well done. My man, Will! Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, you're gonna cream your pants, mate. I already did, I have to reload. Uh, when, you, when you see the footage. Yeah. Look, it didn't go entirely to plan. I didn't get to uh I didn't get to land him. I don't know what happened. He shook the hooks. I don't know whether I should have hit him harder on the take or put more pressure on or given him a bit lighter drag. I was going pretty hard on him because I thought he might, there's a fair chance he might um, take a lot of line real quick. But who knows, that's fishing. Unfortunately, the hook came out and I never got to lay hands on my very first sailfish. But a massive shout out to Will who was manning the slow mo camera for Bergy, who got that epic footage of it coming out of the water. I didn't land it, but I think that footage is a pretty damn good souvenir and one that I will cherish until I finally get my hands around the bill of my first sailie. But look, one step closer, at least I put the hooks in one. It was a very cool experience nonetheless. 
Anyway, guys, stoked to have shared the story with you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because there is new fishing videos dropping every single week. For everyone else, I'll see you all 4 o'clock on Sunday for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.